But we try to bring a little bit more renewable energy into the festival uh, through mainly solar power in this case. There is other option of free energy for the future, but at the moment we are more concentrated on that and a bit of development on hydrogen uh, for the future of the generator mainly. Those one, the smaller one, we have a composition of three mainly. They are um, uh, composed of uh, six block, average six gel block of battery, um, long life block, and uh, means 300 amps of, uh, of capacity into those blocks. Uh, they fit with average six panel of, uh, let's say a bit shorter size than this, uh, 80 watt panel who means 40, 480 watt of, uh, of PV. And we have a small inverter with on this, let's say, uh, non-continuous 800 watts. It can go up to 1,200 watts. We are working on a fourth station with much bigger uh, already because she's composed by uh, six new gel block were much more already much more power. Uh, the inverter who is part of it also it's quite a powerful inverter because we give on a continuous 2000 watt up to a peak of 4000 so you can start already quite a garment like a machine like a big uh, uh, cutting machine or things like that or a compressor for example and uh, it fits with uh, normally around uh, 650 watt of panel so it's already a station with a bit more uh, will give a bit more of our output We have uh, on, uh, an inverter of 3000 watts with a peak of uh, 4800, so you can already start big machine, you know. Uh, we have a backup battery on 24 volt of 500 amps, so it gives us quite some power there. It gives us uh, 12 kilowatt hour inside the battery, so we have a, light, a nice backup for night time already. And then we have a 2160 watt of panel. And there the factor is a bit better. We go up to six hours uh, per day because the tracker are following the tilt of the sun. So we always catch up the best angle. So we have better charge, better in. And means uh, by six we input, let's say, of, of average of, let's say, 13 kilowatts hour day. So it's quite, quite some power already. As far as I know, they are only used for cars, so they are running then on 12 or on 24 volt. What we're going to do now is build a really big system, because the generator has a lot of electrical power just to, to give. So I want to run it on a maximum of 2,500 watt. That gives us quite some production of hydrogen, so we can play a little, you know, where do we gain more in power or uh, in, in uh, spend less on gasoline. And the system in the end will produce an average of about 20 liters a minute of HHO gas. And uh, I expect this is far enough for a 100k generator, especially when we, when we use a generator that is uh, already running on oil. By improving the uh, combustible, um, we, we gain, I, I think we gain more than we can gain on a normal diesel, which is already quite high quality fuel. is faster, the flame speed is faster, this, the flame speed becomes higher as well, but the exhaust is cooler. So um, what is happening when we add a certain amount of hydrogen just simply into the air of an engine, can be a diesel engine or a gasoline engine, 
uh, the engine runs much smoother. That is just because of the combustion process is improved. And uh, it is uh, making less noise, it is making much less pollution, and it is gaining something like 15% on power, especially in the downer roundings.